I made a video two months ago about that how you can plot the Johnson Lehman region for the situation that is a categorical variable times a continuous variable. Some of you ask the question that whether we can plot a Johnson Lehman for continuous time continuous. The short answer is yes. Before going to the continuous time continuous situation, let me rehearse a bit about the situation for categorical time continuous. So this is the example I use in that video, which that in which that the uh, y is a writing score, gender is categorical, social science score is continuous, and this is the interaction between a categorical variable and continuous variable. In that video, I show you how you can use Excel to plot the inter the Johnson Neyman region. I have also have another video, namely this video is R to plot Johnson Neyman. I'm going to put the link, these two links, down below this video as well, so you can click to watch. So in that R video, I show you how you can use R to plot the Johnson Neyman. In that example, this is the, the final result, the figure. So you can see that slightly different. What is the major difference is, is the y-axis. In the exact example, the y is the original y, the writing score. But here, the y-axis is the slope of the gender. What does it mean? It actually is the writing the y with respect to the gender, the partial derivative. So this is the slope of the gender. Actually, ba basically, it's the the y, the new y of this simple linear regression. So the writing score with respect to the gender, this this new y is the slow, is the y is the y-axis here. So basically, the sodic line here is the slope. Is basically this line is the simple is the represent the simple linear regression or the intercept and the slope here. So now you can see that for the situation of categorical time categor continue, you have two ways to plot the Johnson Neyman. Uh, one is the y is the original y, but another one is that the y is a slope of the categorical variable. The question becomes that how you can plot the Continue, con time continue situation. This is the example that I used in the R Johnson Neyman video. So this is that the Y is the mileage per gallon, and one of the X is horsepower, which is continue. Weight is also continue, and this is the interaction. So in the R Johnson Neyman plot video, I show you that this is the way to plot. So here. The y-axis is again is the slope of the horsepower, so basically it's the it's the partial derivative of mpg with respect to horsepower. So this solid line basically is the to plot the intercept and the slope of this simple linear regression. So this simple linear regression is from this uh, interaction, uh, this linear regression, but just you calculate the partial derivative. So now it becomes simple linear regression. And this solid line is, is a plot of this simple linear regression. And this becomes the new y, namely the here. OK, the question becomes that, can you use Excel to plot, the, to plot something similar like this? The, the answer is no. Of course, you can use Excel to plot this line, but it's kind of difficult to in the Excel to plot the competent interval. It's a bit tricky. So, if is the interaction is continuous time continue, in general we use the it's called spot line analysis. It's, we use spot line, so you can say that we use the horsepower plus versus not minus standard deviation. And then we, we find these two key points, focus point, and then we plot two lines. And you can also plot another line for mean. So you have three lines uh, at the horsepower, three point, key point in the horsepower, and then plot the line, the slope, with, with respect to the, the weight. So you can plot these two solar interaction, but this is no longer, it's no longer a Johnson-Neyman 
anymore. Basically, it's, uh, it's our traditional uh, spotlight analysis. So now you can see that, okay, to summarize, you, you have interaction for continuous time, continue interaction. It's, I think, better to go to the R round. It's R to, to the plot the Johnson Neyman, and you can watch the, my R video, how to do that. So I think, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, and or you, I do not explain clearly in this video, you can leave the comment down below. And I will try to answer either just directly respond to the question or just like I might make another video to answer your question. So just let me know. Okay, thank you for watching again.